Hi there guys, I don't want to annoy anyone here, but this is a video with a question as opposed to an answer. I'm just trying to find out some information about this. Have you noticed that Atomic products seem to have been pulled from the shops or the original supply line has dried up? Uh, this is something I noticed a few months back. Um, has anyone got any information on it is basically what I'm asking. Uh, in forums, people have been discussing it. There's obviously quite a fan group for uh, Atomic products, myself included. Um, I believe Tom did respond to something very early on saying it was something to do with the global supply chain, chip shortage, etc. Um, has anyone got anything definitive at whether Atomic products are still going to be around or whether they've basically ceased to exist or maybe it's just something to do with distribution? Um, if anyone has anything that is a verifiable link, I will check it out and I will pin it in the comments section below if you, uh, if you write something down there. Whatever, the, whatever seems to be the... Uh, the most verifiable information, that's what I'll pin at the head of the comments section so that other people can find this information too. Um, I'm a big fan of the Atomic, uh, Atomic Firebox. I've been using that as my main gigging tool for a number of years now, since it first came out. I actually did a video on it, uh, probably uh, whenever that is, like three or four years ago, before I even started really posting consistently on YouTube. Um, and uh, as it happens, Tom called me about a year ago and asked whether I wanted to do an update to that video because I'd flagged up a couple of issues that I had with it and they've addressed that in the version 2 and he basically wondered whether I was going to do a, a video on the version 2 uh, which of course I would have done because that would have been fantastic unfortunately it never came to fruition uh, because like I said the products simply disappeared from uh, from shops so uh, yeah please post in the comment section if you have any information regarding this and if you are Tom yourself that would be even better that you could post in the comments and I will pin the comment so that other people can read about it. Um, for me, the Atomic Firebox is the best director PA solution I've ever had. I, I like a smooth, singing, fat, sustaining sound. That's a lot of adjectives right there. Um, I play a lot of sly guitar, and for me, for what I like to hear, the Atomic is definitely the best product I've had for that purpose. The other products are great, but I just like the simplicity of that one. I've got it set up to just be a, a simple, clean and dirty with a delay on the other side. And my entire guitar rig basically fits in the uh, the end pocket of a wires bag. Anyone that's ever gigged will know that that's... Uh, <laughs> will know why I'm doing that. It's, it's odd because this channel is, uh, you know, broadly about gear, pedals and amps and that kind of stuff. Um, but 90% of my gigs are done just using the Atomic and a clip-on tuner. Uh, that's basically how I'm earning my money. I think it would be a great shame to lose Atomic if that is in fact what we're doing here, although I'm pretty sure it's just a supply chain issue as indicated before. Um, I think they have a lot to offer as a company and are very underrated in the modeling community. Um, like I said, for me, it's the smoothest, fattest sound that I've been able to generate at direct to rig. Um, and it's such a small practical footprint that just goes in a, in a wires bag or whatever, in a gig bag, and that's your whole rig. Um, so yeah, post in the comments. I'll see you next time. Later.